Welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. I'm going around town collecting blood samples from people trying to find the person who started the infection to begin with. So I've already collected Anna's blood and Yulia. However, I still need to get Aspidy's blood. And also, I was taking a look at today's quest and I see something in here that I don't think I actually read before. And it seems pretty important. So that's who the nighttime visitor was. That's why Lara and Yulia's belongings were found in the cathedral. That's who Alexander was trying to protect all along. And this extraordinary girl is the very person I would have started with. There's too much fervor in her. A fervor which was mistakenly thought to be of a sacred nature. I get the feeling that Clara's blood has a lot to tell. Yeah, so I was thinking Clara was certainly suspicious, but... At least according to the quest log, it looks like it's pretty much guaranteed that she is the one who went to the cathedral. I was suspecting it, but it looks like it's pretty much confirmed at this point, and it also looks like I need her blood. The thing is, though, I don't actually know where she is. So, I don't really know what to do about that. Hmm. Wait a minute. It says Clara is the carrier. Well, well. Let's hear what the governor and his clairvoyant wife have to say about this saint girl they've taken into their home. Uh... Didn't I just come from there, though? Or maybe after speaking with Anna. I think after speaking with Anna, which is where I just came out of, maybe now I need to go back and talk to them. Okay, let's do it. I don't know. I've been talking to so many people this day that it's kind of all just getting jumbled in my head. And I'm... I badly need food, and I'm gonna need to sleep super soon. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've already been in here looking for food, and I think they only have fresh meat and stuff like that, which I don't want. Yeah. Ah, uh, there's smoked meat. Yeah, you know what? It is smoked meat. It should be fine. It should be fine, because that's that was smoked before the infection. So, I'll take it. Yeah, that's fine. So, smoked fish, or dried fish, and smoked meat are perfectly fine. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. It looks like after speaking with Anna, that unlocks all these options to talk to Alexander about Clara. Is Clara with you? No, Bachelor. Clara is not with us. Too much evidence says that she is not who she pretended to be. It is possible that she, that she is indeed Simon's murderer and spawn of the Earth. We decided to banish her from our home and withdraw our protection from her. She is the prime suspect. So what course of action do you intend to take? Hmm. You are responsible for what she has been doing. Hence, I'd like to hear your recommendation. What am I to do with your protege? Katerina and I made it clear we'd deem her a gift from above. Katerina was even ready to adopt her. There was something that confused us, however. What? And the thing is, Katerina sensed her inhumanity. But still, we approached her as if we knew nothing of her secret. I trusted Clara. She seemed to me an emissary of some benevolent power, sent to assist us in disposing of this atrocious plague. You are remarkably quick to demote your adopted daughter from angel to demon. There are no angels and demons in the steppe, Bachelor. Only spawns of the earth that bears, and the earth that consumes. These entities have a different nature. We call them spirits. But they are merely animated meat. They try to imitate humans, 
which only makes their forms even more gruesome. Wait, so they're saying Clara is just animated meat trying to crudely imitate a human? Hmm. Ooh. I can be very hard on Alexander here. I could say that I should mention Alexander's involvement with Clara to the Inquisitor. Hmm. No, let's not try to just, like, go crazy and burn all our bridges with the Sabra family. So you assume Clara to be a malevolent spirit posing as a kind one to mislead you. Supernatural powers do not distinguish between black and white. They do not share human views on good and evil. To the human eye, the border that separates earthly evil from earthly good is thin. Thin and broken. That ancient logic is beyond our understanding. The search for the carrier was never stopped since day one. All suspects were cleared by you. How do you explain this? I personally entrusted this girl with checking the suspicious. One thing I know firmly, she is absolutely assured that she is doing good. She only tried sincerely. I do not know what creature hides beneath her skin and what it brings into the world, but Clara knows even less. She thinks herself a savior. The Inquisitor will listen to these arguments, but will not consider them when he sends you to the gallows. If you knew that the cause of our misfortune may be hiding inside Clara, you'll have to bear responsibility. I do not fear the Inquisitor, Bachelor. I am well accustomed to answering for my actions. I am treating Clara with proper awe. Unlike you, I am counting on the veracity of the local tradition. It is my duty to burn the source of the plague, even if it turns out to be Clara. If you won't help me to determine the carrier's the carrier precisely, I'll have to burn all the suspects. Why burn? Isolate. Come to think of it, most townsfolk of note are already under lock and key. Credit to my efforts. Last night showed that isolation solves nothing. Last night, once again, showed the authorities to be impotent. What did that do? Why did it open the map? Katarina must know where to find Clara, but will she tell me? God, I hope so. I need her blood. Okay, so I guess I'm done with Alex... Uh, Alexander. Am I done with Who you? Who knows what the creature that lives under the theater is? I don't like rumors that have to do with my wife. Who, whoa, 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 what he just said. Who knows... Oh crap, what did he just say? Who knows what the creature un living under the cathedral is? Or the theater? Did he say theater or cathedral? Shit. I already forgot. <laughs> I was too caught up in being excited because remember a while ago, a long, like quite a while ago, I mentioned that I vaguely remembered like a hole and something being under like a cathedral or the theater. I think he's talking about that, which means, oh my god, maybe I should go there. Uh, at some point, of course, after I'm done with the main quest. Gotta know how much time I've got left before I start potentially wasting it, but... I wonder if that means it's there, the thing I vaguely remember. Hmm. Alright, um, it seems like this is just retreading what we already went over, but let's do it anyway, just in case. Don't be so quick to accuse Yulia. I know how to find the carrier. How? Yesterday, I got an opportunity to study the carrier's blood. I'll simply compare the samples. Then I will not hurry with accusations. Wait for me to return. Yeah, so that didn't do anything. Um, I need to sleep extremely soon, but instead of that, let's eat a lemon. Um. Yeah, okay, that's enough for now. Should give me at least a couple hours to run around before I get too exhausted. 
Let's see if Katarina can help us with where Clara is hiding. Ten in the morning, still plenty of time. Oh, shit. Uh, I think I found her. Huh. Hi. Yes? So? So? Have you met the changeling already? Y you mean you? Y yes, apparently I've just met you. What? Oh my god, that option is so creepy. I have just now. Come closer, sweet girl. What the hell? They threw you out, and now you're here? Yes. Will you kill her? She's after you too, and about to get you. You only managed to avoid it until now due to a single little mistake. She who? Changeling. The Changeling. She's the spitting image of me. Only she's a ghost. A demon. She is not at all. Not human in the slightest. A foul evil killer. Pretending to be me on purpose. I'm looking for her. Looking for her everywhere. It was she who brought the disease. On purpose. Um, okay. She... Well, either something very strange is going on and I just don't understand it, or she's kind of lost her mind. What in the world are you talking about? Yes, yes, she spreads the disease from house to house. That's how it gets through walls. People open their doors to her willingly. Those gullible children, they think it's me. I only found out today. People are attracted to her. They want her to lay a hand on their lips, on their heart. They want to touch her. And who are you, then? I am Clara, the instrument of the miraculous power that is beyond the realm of humans. They call me the Harbinger Angel. There is no such angel. How do you know? Who are you to speak of high heavens? You, the man that is stuck in the dimness of rebellious arts and the horrors of heretical teachings. Step away from me, bachelor. By the power that's been bestowed upon me, step away. You have no power over me. Shh. Did you hear that? You've changed. Or am I imagining things? So is she gonna give me her blood? Hmm. It's not me, I swear. I'm all alone against the world, but it's not my fault. I feel like I'm going mad. What did I do to deserve so much hate? So many hearts have already accepted me, but now... Um, I don't like either of these options, but let's go with the first one. I beg... I beg you pardon? I think I'm supposed to say I beg your pardon. It's me who's going mad. What? You've changed. Matchmakers are coming. Trying to woo me. So she's not going to give me a blood sample. Hmm. What? I hope this changeling gets caught soon. What a despicable creature. A product of the steppe's insanity. Made of bones and clay. <laughs> Who is standing there? The girl. That's not her. How could you think that? Don't you see? This is my foster daughter, Clara. That's the one I'm looking for. But she's not guilty, don't you know? She's a saint. She's helpful and kind. She heals people. She's already dragged more than a hundred men out of their graves. She was at the cathedral. It wasn't her. It was some changeling that walks around under the, under the guise of our sweet girl. But we drove her out. And she crept to the cemetery, the proper place for this creature. She nestles there under the wing of the insane Grace. Our daughter can't stand her as well. Really? Drove her out, huh? She's at the cemetery with Grace. I very much doubt that, but I guess I should go check. And Grace is near Aspity, who I was going to take a blood sample from anyway. I need to take a sample of her blood. 
No, never. It would be extremely impolite of us to besmirch her with suspicion. If we, through our distrust, offend the grace that lives within her, she will lose her miraculous abilities. No, never. She will remain here on my responsibility. My spouse and I vouch for her. I declare this girl grounded. I assume the town hall and the governor's house are equally reliable in this respect. Undoubtedly. <laughs> that was sarcasm. The girl must stay here until the Inquisitor comes for her. And no miracles until Karminsky arrives. It'll be Orf, not Karminsky. Orf? Really? Yes, Karminsky was recalled. He's needed in the field. As far as I understood, a certain delicate operation requires a hanging judge and a punisher. How in the world is Orf unsuitable for this? What? It just ends the conversation? Wait, so what did that do for my quests? Grace, the deranged daughter of the cemetery caretaker, would know where Clara may be found. Are you telling me this actually isn't Clara? I don't believe that. Why have the... It's so cold. Okay. Let's go talk with Grace. Hello, children. Would you like to barter? They were waiting for me. I uh, definitely do not need more mono mycetum. Got plenty of that. I think I've got like four of it, right? I've got three of it. Yeah, that's plenty. bandages. Tourniquet? Nah. Okay, so let's head over to Grace. Mm. And I do want to also go to Aspie's place as well, although it seems like taking her blood sample at this point seems kind of pointless. I seriously doubt she's involved, but I might as well. I mean, she's along the way. Now, what's the best way to get there while avoiding as much of the infection as possible? I guess probably just go here, go up here, then here I hit the infected zone, and then I just go straight through, just a straight shot to Aspidy's house, and then after that I'm done. I'm through it. It's not too bad. Yeah, that should be fine. So, right after Anna's place, I take a left. And go straight for a bit. Oh, is this the pub? Wait a minute. Wait, what? It's got a sign. But it's not actually marked on the map as anything. What is this place? Huh. Should I explore it? Uh, let's see if the front door. Let's see if I can go inside of the front door. Nope. Well, I could pick the lock, but... Nah. Some people are hulking out over there. Oh. Okay, take a right. Just go straight here, right? Yep, straight here. Holy shit! 
There's a lot of things going on over there. Oh, it's one of those crazy things coming after me. Hmm. Just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jesus! Love the silence inside of here. It is so calming compared to outside. It's better not to ask. Silence is golden. I've started to miss you already. <laughs> That's dripping with sarcasm, of course. Oh, you're just reeking of suspicious things. Okay. Yep, it looks like the whole Clara thing has completely taken over the quest to the point where it doesn't even allow you to ask Aspidy for a blood sample anymore. Fair enough. Wasn't there a plague, like a uh, cloud of infection over this exit? I thought there was. I don't see it though. Okay. Ah, I knew it. I was thinking this huge pit at some point would be filled with bodies from the plague, and indeed it is. That's a lot of bodies. Just think of how deep this pit was. Ugh. That's hundreds, I think. Okay, Grace. What have you got for me? I'm soaking wet. Have you seen Clara? She's hiding. In the infected part of the town, most likely. Or maybe somewhere by the station. A terrible person is coming from the capital to execute her tomorrow. She wanted to hide between the carriages, then slip onto a train and leave. I didn't want to do it without saying goodbye to Murky and Sticky first. Uh, okay, I'm not going to assume that the game is actually going to give me this information properly in the quest log, so I'm actually going to write this stuff down. I'll be right back. Okay, got it all down. Grace, does Clara have a twin sister? Shabnak Adir's made a habit of pretending to be Clara. She came to me once, talked to me. I didn't realize it at first, and then I wondered, why was she so tall? So I looked down and saw it. She had no feet. Just broken bones sticking out of her shoes. So scary. I was so short of breath, I ran away. And she had such an evil scowl. Laughing. And what did she say? Lots of things. She even mentioned you. Said she was looking for you. Said she wanted to lure you into a trap. To fool the doctor. Said the doctor's not so smart. That she fooled everyone, and she's going to fool him too. Turn his needles into hooks, so he won't prick her hands. Damn. Okay, well that... Hmm. The herb gatherers have performed their foul rite on the raggy barrel. That didn't update my quest, did it? No, it didn't. What's wrong? Wow, I'm really glad I wrote down those details then, because, yeah, it, it doesn't even tell me those details that she just said about where to possibly find Clara. Huh. Okay, well, she said possibly in an infected part of town, or by the station, and she also wanted to say goodbye to Murky and Sticky. So that's Sticky's house. Could be there. Uh, I don't actually know who Murky is. Who in the hell is Murky? Well, I can't really think of any concrete plan of action. I mean, the quest still says, uh, the last thing it says to do is... 
Grace, the deranged daughter of the cemetery caretaker, would know where Clara may be found. But she doesn't have anything more to say to me. I'm so king. Other than what she's already told me, which is very vague. She just said that Clara might be found in an infected place, which leaves way too much to search for. Uh, maybe by the station. And also that she wanted to say goodbye to Murky and Sticky first. Uh, Sticky's up here, and I think, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure Murky is the little girl inside of this rail car here. So maybe it's worth going down there to speak with her and also check out the railway station along the way. Since that's another place that Grace said Clara might be hiding. Waiting at the railroad station to get out of the town. She wanted to like hitch a ride on one of the trains that's supposed to be coming in, I think. <sighs> it feels like just a shot in the dark, though. I mean, I'm searching for the monster version of Clara that supposedly exists, right? Because the actual Clara is just right here. Should I just go back to the actual Clara and demand a blood sample or something? Or should I actually go searching for this other Clara? I, I really don't know. But, you know what? It's uh, We got plenty of time, I guess. It's 11 o'clock. Let's hope for the best. I'm going to make a perma-save just in case I regret this and need to come back. And, uh... I actually want to see what this thing is. Huh. That is obviously not in English. Alright, well, I think I'm just going to head across the rail tracks into an unfortunately infected zone. Just go across here, head over to Ruben's place, speak with him, see if there's anything new to say, and also examine the new blood sample that I have using his microscope, and then make my way to the make my way to the railway station and the murky. Let's hope for the best. Hunger is high, exhaustion is high, health is low. What a wonderful combination. This place is infected, but thankfully there's not a lot of people around here because it's not a residential area. So it looks like there's actually not too much here to worry about. Though I hear some of those Hulk fire bombers. Uh, wait. Can I get around that? Get him, guard! Get him! Oh, shit! Ooh! <laughs> I'm kinda glad the second one hit me. Cause I was at like one hit point from the first one. I didn't realize that was a fire starter back there, I actually thought it was a guard. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, take two. Keep running, keep running! Okay. Keep running! Other way! Oh, fuck! I'm down to, like, one hit point again. God damn it. I, you know, I just have to reload. Like... Oh, no, I've got a bandage. Okay. I guess I don't have to reload. You... Oh, fuck off. Alright, Ruben. Anything new for me? What? Guess that's a no. Let's examine the samples. 
Alright, so I already examined Lara's blood, right? Yeah. Now, Yulia's? Looks the same. Now, what about Anna's? Yeah, all these look the same. They all look clean. So, it was none of them. Okay, let's go down to the railway station and murky. You know, maybe these one, two, three, four. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck, that was close. I didn't realize I was walking into an infected zone. I was going to say, maybe these five guards should spend less time protecting the outside of this place and maybe going inside the place to defeat the, like, dozen fire bombers and thieves that are inside of there. Uh, seems like that might be wise. Oh, something just happened. Letter? Letter! From Sticky. I found the carrier of the disease. I've tracked the carrier down. Come at once while it's still relevant. Sticky. P.S. I went outside because they brought me yesterday's vaccine. Otherwise, I wouldn't have left the room. I swear. Sitting tight now. Okay, so... Yeah, looks like Sticky's the one who knows more, not Murky. Well, I guess I should abandon my quest to go over here. Okay, hold on. There's a couple things I want to do first, though. I'm going almost immediately there, but there's a couple other things I can do that are almost along the way. Oh, she's in pain. I'm sorry, I don't want to spare my meds. something I want to see about little Vlad. Mm. I am crushed by these walls. Yeah, nothing new to say. I am crushed by these walls. Okay, here's the thing I wanted to check. Somebody in the comments for one of the previous Pathologic videos said that I should spend a little bit more time around Little Vlad's well. They didn't say anything more. I have no idea what they're talking about. I don't know what there would be to find at the well, but let's do that. Let's hang around the well for a couple minutes. Whoa, what is that? Do you see that? There's something red down there. What is down there? I hear voices. Very, very, very faint voices. Can we hear them? Uh, can I turn off the music? Music is at 30%. Okay, turn that off completely. Seems to have gone away now. It'll probably come back in a second. Hmm. 
Hmm. Strange. I don't know what to make of that. We promise a court. Also, that is a very fascinating map. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just gonna say, I know some things about this game, even though I haven't finished it before, but I know some things about this game, and let's just say that map might be more relevant than you'd think. I won't say anymore. Okay, the other thing I want to do is go to the town theater, because I think that's the place that somebody in just their, like, idle dialogue chatter said that there's a hole around there. I want to see if that hole is actually there. Why are you looking at me askance? Mom says you're cold and calculating. Mom is completely right. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. How does your mother know that? Because everyone is talking about you. Because you're a celebrity. And because everything we're hoping for depends on you. We're all scared of you to death. And Dad says that you are a breath away from death. And they're going to force you to make a wrong choice. Who is going to do that? I don't know. I'm a little boy. I'm just repeating what I've heard from the grown-ups. Hmm. You're really too sharp for a little boy. Guess I'll buy some rifle ammo. How much rifle ammo do I have? Six rifle ammo? That's pretty good. I'm guessing since the rifle is, you know, so much bigger than a pistol, I'm guessing it kills in one shot. Probably even if it's not a headshot. That would be my guess. My hope. Um, I need food. Like, really, really, really bad. My exhaustion's also super high. I'm gonna need to chew on another lemon. Which unfortunately increases my hunger even more. I might have to start buying fresh meat. There's just so little food. I mean, the price of the food is not the problem. It's just the existence of the food that's the problem. If I remember right, this store on my right is a clothes shop. Yep. Uh, I guess I'll see if they have any needles. Just kerosene and uh, cloth or something. How's my infection doing? That's eh, pretty good. It's not too high. My stats are seriously looking bad. I'm really worried. I've got the supplies to fix them. I just don't have the... I just don't have the things to fix them. Okay. A hole underneath the the uh, the theater? I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was the theater and not the cathedral. I hope I'm not wrong. Yeah, so I don't think it's inside. I think it's behind. I think it might be that locked well place. If you remember, back when I was examining the town theater as a possible place to be a ward or something like that. There's like a locked well back here. Let's go see. Hmm, lid's still on. Probably still locked. Yep, damn. Well, at least there's some goodies back here. A lot of goodies. Alright, I don't want to spend too much time here. 
Although I am feeling a little bit more confident because of Sticky's note. Before Sticky's note, I was thinking who the hell knows how long it's going to take to find Clara. Oh, fire starter. Uh, but with Sticky's note, I could be pretty sure I'm going to find her soon. My hunger is minutes away from starting to hurt me. I seriously need food. Uh, I know they sell food there. Um, alright. Alright, I think that might be a food store as well. Let's go to the food store on the left first and then the one on the right. I seriously, I need to actually go out of my way to find food at this point. It's that important. Why was there red muck? In little Vlad's well. Why? It looked like there was a tunnel underneath there. A tunnel filled with viscera or something. I hope he hasn't been drinking his own well water. Fresh meat. <sighs> no. Not gonna resort to that just yet. I'm pretty close to resorting to eating fresh meat, but not just yet. Yeah, let's go east, because I think that is a food store over there, plus it takes me in the direction of Sticky's place. This is, this is a once infected region though, so there's probably going to be a lot of people trying to throw bombs at me. And you can trade with guards for food, right? Price 5. Um, oh, they'll take the combustible fluid as a trade good, okay. Twirine's worth 2. But they won't take anything else. Damn. Yes, that is a food store over there. Okay. Uh, you were gonna throw a knife at my face. So let's crouch. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, this is an issue. Get him, guard! Get him! Help me! Also, there's like a... Whoa, probably like rat. There's like a skull in the little... Sand... Uh, sandbox back there? Children's playground? What have you got? Fresh fit? No, not fresh. Damn it. Lemon. Uh... Alright, I'll take a lemon. Fuck, my hunger's maxed. Do I just buy it? Hmm... Mmm. Mmm. This might be a bad idea. I'm gonna save it. Let's see what happens. Let's see if this increases my infection. No. Okay, it didn't increase my infection. I don't think it did. Alright. So fresh fish, I guess, seems okay. <laughs> I really don't trust the river water that it came from, though, but I'm not eating fresh meat. Now I'm going to spend a second looking at this sandbox. Why does that feel so appropriate? A children's sandbox to play in that's filled with the remains of something that was once living. Just death. Sandbox of death. Is it worth looting a house for food? Oh, jeez, fuck! I was about to say, what if there's gonna be any house ninjas inside? That answers that. Jesus. I wonder what the chances of finding food inside of one of these houses is. I might try it. I think I'm gonna try it. Maybe not that house. 
<laughs> that house ninja is a little bit too close to the door. Gotta go north. So I actually need to head back here. Let's try this one. Okay, much better. Let's see if there's any more. There's probably more than one. Okay, some money. Crowbar. Disposable gloves. I think those are actually worth a shit ton. Pretty sure. Might be worth selling rather than using. Couple needles. Check upstairs. Might be more house ninjas up here. Gotta be careful. Oh, there's two. Oh, fuck. You know what? I think I found enough stuff downstairs that I don't want to waste two more rounds on the people upstairs. Yeah, one bullet to trade for disposable gloves and some medication and some other stuff. That's totally worth it. Let's just not go upstairs. Okay, north and then east to Sticky. Health is so low. Need to trade with people for bandages. I hope I can clear up this Clara thing pretty soon. So that I can then sleep. Because I don't want to sleep until I know how much time I have left in the day, you know. But if I clear up this Clara thing, then I can pretty comfortably sleep until the business that I need to take care of at the termitary at 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. Two. All right, sticky. Bandage, please. Bandage, please. Yes. Oh, so let's get my immunity up, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hey. 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 Oh, he's not going for me. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can help him. Without wasting ammo. Well, that almost killed me, but it's okay. I got some things out of it. Oh my god, I just... <laughs> I just got my five waters back from that guy. Oh, poor guy. I'm really, 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 really close to dying now, though. Huh. Could be worth looking for a bandage to buy at this store right here. Nah. I'll be fine. here. Yeah, there we go. Buy a hook. Is a hook worth a hundred, though? Oh, I actually don't even have room for it. I can't buy it. Okay. How much are the disposable gloves worth? 335. Hmm. That's not as much as I thought. Hmm. 
Well, no reason to wear them yet, I guess. So I'll just keep the disposable gloves on me. Don't seem worth selling. If I go into a particularly nasty place, I guess I'll consider putting them on. If I can remember their very existence. Sticky place, right? Sticky place? No, this one. Alright, Sticky, what do you have for me? A raider sack wants to burn our town. What are we going to do? I found the carrier. Track the carrier down. Go, go there at once, or you'll miss everything. Who is it? The Shabnak, the lucid skinned ghost. I told you before. This is it. I'm sure this is it. It's kind of bodiless, and it killed a man just by looking at him. We have to catch it. Hmm. Didn't Grace say that the the Shabnak or whatever the hell you want to call it that it thought I was stupid and it could lead me into a trap? This sounds like a trap. Where did it go? It's somewhere near the abattoir. I was going to run looking for you at once, but luckily I stumbled upon a courier. Right now it's probably heading east towards the rotten field. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna write this down just in case the game doesn't make good use of the quest log to tell me this information. Near Abattoir. Um, going east toward Rotten Field. To Rotten Field. Okay, got it. Oh, looks like it did actually put it in there. Oh, it's an other task. It's not even a main quest. Interesting. Huh. If it's not part of the main quest, does that guarantee that this won't actually lead me to solving today's quest? Or perhaps they're connected. I really hope they're connected. Sticky has managed to track down a creature that very much resembles the notorious demon. It was last seen skulking around the abattoir, and it looks like it will be staying there for some time. Could it be the carrier? Or is this another wretched imitation with which fate mocks me? Well, that makes me feel a bit less confident about finding Clara, or the Clara demon. Mm. Well, that entire place is the abattoir. It was seen around the abattoir, possibly heading east towards the rotten field. Well, I can't go more to the right of the map. I'm guessing just all of this off to the right is the rotten field. So I'm guessing I should probably search around the entrance. And then off to the right, like maybe here, maybe this thing. Looks like that's a building out there or something. Okay. It will be interesting to go over here, because I don't think I've ever actually been up here. I've been to Grace's place, and I've been to Aspidy's place here, but I don't think I've ever actually gone north to the abattoir. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go look for the Shabnak around the abattoir.